Charlotte Lake down there. drop this is the last hard part and then I think we're good to micro spikes off Day 89 recap, um, 13.5, about 2,700 2, up and 3,600 down. Um, not sure why, but today was not a great day. Um, Glen Pass was actually pretty easy, um, a bit tough going up. Um, but uh, going down was actually too bad at the start, the snow. Um, uh, the footpath was actually pretty deep. Um, if you go in the morning, I don't think you'll need spikes, but I did use spikes, uh, no ice axe. And then the, you kind of traverse the mountain, you get to cross a couple rock areas, then you get to some clear switchbacks um that go pretty steep down and then you have like a 30 foot section of snow um 
I think that's the part where most people were concerned about and somebody talked about, um, you know, locking down, step down, like with your face facing the mountain. Um, I was able to go to the right of that and there were some good boot step downs. Um, I didn't have to face the mountain, I actually got down fairly easy. Um, again, just micro spikes and then after that, um, a couple switchbacks took off micro spikes for the rest of the trip down. There were some more snow traverses and uh, I did a short glissade again, but nothing crazy that you would need to bust anything out. Um, so f fairly, really easy, I would say. Um, just again, a lot of um, technical parts and sometimes trying to find the, your way back to a switchback that might have some snow, but really not that bad. It's pretty straightforward. Um, and then you got to the beautiful Ray Lakes and was swarmed by mosquitoes like everywhere. I, there was a couple that was leaving that I guess they were planning to stay a couple days and they left because it was just so miserable. So they were going out um, and it was pretty bad at one point. Um, got swarmed enough to put deed on. Um, I think I got bit on my lip. I can't really tell. But um, they're just everywhere. Um, and they're kind of uh, going down after Ray Lakes. Um, it's actually a good trail, but then it get kind of gnarly. Um, there was a lot of huge blowdowns. There was one area where you couldn't even find the trail, and it was like maybe 100, 200 feet of back and forth through all these trees. And um, again, pretty technical. Um, my feet are killing me. Um, we probably had like seven or eight stream crossings today. Um, all the way up until I think like even a mile back there was there was one. So my feet are soaked. They were pruned when I just took off my socks. My shoes are completely wet. So everything's just didn't even have a chance to dry out because there's so many. Um, and then just had no energy um, trying to climb. I think we were doing three miles up at the end to kind of get closer to, to uh, Picho and nothing, nothing in the tank. Um, but we did make it here. There's this little area and there must be like 15 tents in here where it's, it's like, you can see how close. Like there's a tent right next to me and um, this gracious couple didn't care I was that close and they were eating right outside so um, and apparently there was another couple that passed us right before we got here and they said they saw a bear um, maybe a half mile back and we missed it I guess we were right near it but didn't see it um, but yeah we 13.5 and not a huge gain but I think just the sheer amount of rocks in the trail and there were step step ups everywhere like when you when you're doing these these step ups on the trail it's like sometimes two to three like height of stairs so it just zaps my strength um, and again my bad knee on my left that's been bad for a long time I can't do those on that that knee that leg so it's all on my right to get up those things so um, it's kind of difficult um, just a really difficult day for some reason it shouldn't have been but um, we saw the suspension bridge which was kind of cool before it came up but all in all just snow technical trail the mosquitoes are just wiping the joy from this trail right now um, I don't know. We got two more passes to do. Um, tomorrow we're going straight up for like five miles and then go down and then we have to go back up to prepare for the next pass. But I don't think we're doing much miles tomorrow. I think we have to do like maybe 11. Um, so I don't know. It's not good. <laughs> but my feet are freezing. so. 
Um, I'm just going to try to eat real fast and of course go to bed, which is usually what I say about this time. You know I'm in my tent, I'm about to eat and go to bed when I'm giving these. You know, it's too cold and mosquito-y to go out there and test my luck when I got probably like 40 mosquito bites already. So um, uh, we'll see, hopefully tomorrow's a little bit better and have more energy. Um, and I ate fairly well today, which was kind of strange. So, and I was drinking, so I'm not sure what it was. Again, maybe this altitude is messing with me. Um, just zapping my strength and making me tired, I don't know. But um, we'll see. All right, uh, hopefully tomorrow will be a better day. And uh, pincho tomorrow. Peace.